Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming through. If you're new to my channel, my name is Naka Friedel, AKA Naka F, and I welcome you all to my channel. I decided to create an eyeshadow look using the matte book from the crayon case. And this is the look I came up with. Very inspired today to do something colorful, to do something fun. And that's what I chose to do. And I really love how it came out. Um, so before we get into it, don't forget to thumbs up my video, subscribe to my channel, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And then of course, hit the bell for notifications. If you'd like to see how I got this eyeshadow look using the matte book from the crayon case, then please keep on watching. Crayon case. And I actually did get the box of crayons eyeshadow palette as well with this order. Um, so I will also be doing a first impressions on that eyeshadow palette um, maybe in the next couple of videos. But I wanted to do the matte book first um, because it is a newer product. Okay, so let's open it up. It comes with kind of like a casing, same thing, a casing includes the ingredients it also contains talc a bunch of equations um pi equals 3.14 um and e equals mc but it should say e equals mc squared but it says e equals mc um but yeah then you got one plus one equals two etc tic-tac-toe which i haven't played in so long um, but the actual eyeshadow palette looks exactly like the casing. And then when you open it up, you open it up to a small stack of books here. And then you have a blackboard. You have a math test. You have a homework planner and another like worksheet. And then here's the actual um, eyeshadows. I'm taking off the plastic. And it's a really colorful kind of theme here. Looks like it's going from warm to cool. I don't know if anyone caught it, but it kind of like is in the order of Roy G. Biv, which is the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. So it kind of like goes into that order, which I think is really cool. Um, yeah, I just, I think that's really cool. Um, definitely going along with the whole school theme. So I really, really like that. So it's a full matte palette. Um, I think I forgot to say that earlier, but it is all mattes. And I wanna see where my creativity takes me. I'm, I'm very excited. I think I'm gonna do one eye off camera and then come back and do the other eye. So I'll be back. This is my eye look and i really 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 like how it came out and we're gonna just do it on the other side together i'm gonna just do a voiceover at this point um so this way i can just go really fast through it and then we'll come back and finish the rest of the face so then i took my morphe brush from the eye credible set and dipped into this dark purple shade for my crease color but then of course i forgot to add primer to my eyelids so i'm using the p louise base in number one. After adding the dark purple shade to my crease, I went in with the lighter purple shade and added that to my crease as well just to brighten it up a bit. So I decided to add another light layer of the P. Louise base just so I'd have a good foundation for the other colors to sit on my lid. So I'm starting off with the yellow shade. I didn't really show it here, but it took me a little while to really get the yellow to show up. Um, and then I went in with this really bright, beautiful blue shade. For anyone who's into crayons, it reminds me of that color Cyrilline. And like if you had a really big box of crayons, this was the blue that it reminded me of. And then I went into the green shade, the like middle green, Kelly green shade, and I put that in the middle. Just reminded me that yellow and blue make green, so I just kind of wanted to put that on my lid. Then I'm gonna go into the indigo shade and I'm going to be placing it in my outer V just in between the purple and the blue shade, just to deepen it up a little bit. 
queen and train and take your crown get thrown right over here for my lower lash line i dipped into the bright orange shade and then for the middle of my lower lash line i dipped into the bright hot pink and then i ended up dipping into the red shade for the outer part of my lower lash line just so it could create a really nice gradient and for mascara i'm dipping into my benefit cosmetics roller lash so for lashes i used the style lila from lily lashes and while the glue dried i used my sephora collection cold pencil and beige and used my fenty beauty fly liner for a very thin line and then to set my whole face i used my fenty beauty loose setting powder in the shade nutmeg to highlight my inner corner i went ahead and used my artist couture powder in gold digger and then for blush i went in with nars liberté and then for an all over face highlight i went ahead and used my fenty beauty trophy wife it's definitely been a while but i love it i just realized i didn't put any contour so we're gonna just quickly throw some contour on let me using the prime beauty bronzer chocolate liddy we're just gonna throw on a little I uh, just, I didn't look snatched. Just a little bit of bronzer. I was like, something's missing. Just a little snatch, snatchcation, you know? And I just need to do a little nose snatching. Ooh, not too much nose snatching. Before lips, we are going to just go with a gloss because there's just a lot going on here. I'm going to line my lips with my matte brown black eyeliner from Sephora. I love you. I love you. So I forgot to set my face, so we're going to set first. And then for lip gloss, I'm gonna go in with Buxom Cosmetics Lip Gloss in Havana Punch. It's a really very beautiful pink shade. All right, so I'm back. Everything's done already. And this is the eyeshadow look that I came up with using the matte book from the crayon case. And these are all the colors. I am actually now just realizing that I use none of these shades down here. But of course I have an opportunity to use this again because I purchased it. I believe that the matte book goes for $25 on the Crayon Case website. And then the box of crayons I think is $30. Um, which I am going to be trying very soon. Um, so if you are interested, go ahead and check out their website. I believe it's thecrayoncase.com and check it out. Purchase it, use it, love it, enjoy it. I'm definitely going to be doing that. So that's really about it for this video. I can't wait to do more looks because this is totally not me. I mean, not saying that I, I love having fun with color, but not this many colors in one shot. So this is this is new. I like it. Um, but yeah, so that's really about it for this video. Um, do not forget to thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell for notifications. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.